Ever feel like your computer sounds like a spaceship about to blast into orbit? <clears throat> We've all been there. Here's some simple tricks to help you quiet that sucker down or build your own super quiet build from scratch. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY in 5. I'm your host, Trisha Hirschberger, and today we're going to dive deep into what considerations are necessary for a quiet PC build that knows how to keep cool under pressure. There are many reasons why you might want a quiet PC. Maybe you work in a shared office space and you don't want to bother others. Maybe you're building for your living room and you don't want noise interfering with your downtime. Or maybe you record content or live stream and would like to avoid background noise. Whatever you're looking for, we got you. If you find this video useful, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. Keeping your PC cool and keeping it quiet usually go hand in hand. When a component or build gets too hot, fans need to spin faster to keep it cool and that usually translates to more noise. Trying to find the delicate balance of a quiet PC that won't overheat is the key. One of the simplest tricks to keep a PC cool is to maximize airflow. If you're dealing with an older PC, clean it. Dust can clog up components and vents and make everything inside work harder to stay cool. A simple compressed air can and dust cloth can go a long way. Another way to maximize airflow without spending a dime is to consider cable management. We have a whole video on cable management that you can find linked in the description if you really want to get into it, but a few simple cable management tricks can do wonders to improve airflow throughout your system so that your PC can stay nice and calm. In general, your CPU and GPU run the hottest, so they can be the noisiest to stay cool. Traditionally, you would hear people say, quiet PC, you need liquid cooling. And while that can be true to some degree, water coolers need less airflow, air-cooled systems can also be really quiet if you have a large enough heat sink. It's a lovely age we live in as PC builders, isn't it? Fan noise is generally rated in decibels or dBA. The lower the number, the quieter the fan. Now that being said, there's no standard means to measure this, so each manufacturer has its own standard. Best to read a bunch of reviews before going with a cooler based on specs alone. You may also notice noise coming from your power supply fan, case fan, or even your hard drive. Power supplies are usually built more for functionality than quiet. Modern high-end power supplies can have a semi-passive fan mode where the fan will only engage when you hit a certain usage level, and you can always check the stats like airflow and noise level in reviews before buying. Case fans can either be pre-installed or something that you add in, and here again, it's best to think of airflow. If you have more fans bringing air into the tower than out of the tower, it's called positive air pressure. Positive air pressure is nice because it's better at keeping dust out of your system over time. Also, larger fans tend to run quieter, so check your case and see if there's room for something a little larger than what came stock. When it comes to hard drives, it's not so much heat that's the issue as it is the moving parts. A traditional hard drive has moving parts which naturally cause noise. If you can afford it, going with an SSD is totally noiseless and a great alternative. The last thing I'll mention is specialty cases designed specifically with quiet builds in mind. But just because a case has sound dampening built in doesn't necessarily mean it's prioritizing staying cool. It might just be hiding it and the built-in dampening could actually be restricting airflow. That being said, there are companies like Be Quiet that specialize in quiet PSUs, air coolers, fans, and cases with excellent airflow and have some really well-reviewed high-performing options out there specifically for people who need a quieter system. So what kind of build are you putting together right now? Let us know in the comments. Did you buy any specialized quiet components? And if so, how are they working out for you so far? My most recent build has a deep cool liquid cooler on the CPU and it is practically silent. I love it. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you next time with more DIY in 5.